not yet. So I wanted to do a new video which is about making and creating and playing, kind of just using things that are around the home. So this video is inspired by the Abstract Expressionist Art Movement, um, so Jackson Pollock, and it's a style called All Over Painting, which is that there's no top or bottom or left or right and no clear start or end point. And you kind of just, it's just one continuous painting. And um, it's sort of paintings like this. And it's really fun, it's a really easy way to kind of use up things that are around you. So we're going to use marbles, we're going to use post paints and we're going to use kind of like jelly pots or whatever kind of home pots you've got. So let's get creating. Okay, so these are some of the things that we're going to look at making. I just want to do a little bit of a close up. So this one I stuck in um, a clip it frame and I used an old postcard in the background and then I used another white card and then just stuck the Jackson Pollock marble kind of paper that we're going to do in the video on top. You could also stick it within, it's called an aperture card, which means it's a fold of three and the aperture is the hole. And then what I did is I stitched, you can see a tiny cross here, which once you put it in the card, and obviously you'd cut this down and then you'd stick it all into place. And then you can kind of create like a flower out of it and then it's got the cross as the centre or you can do it without any stitch and you can do it in a really rich colour card or you can just leave it as it is and just have fun playing with the marbles and the paint you can create a big poster you can create a wall sign so there's lots of options for doing it but the main thing is just to play and to have fun and kind of explore creating with marbles and paint so i'll move these out of the way so i don't get any paint onto them Okay, so what I'm going to use is some, this is just some washable poster paint in a red. Um, and I've got three different marbles. Again, you don't need three different marbles. You can just use one marble. It's probably because later on in the video I'm going to use two other colours. But for now, I'll just, I'll take both these away. You want a little pot to put the marble into. That's what you're going to put the paint into. And then you want a tray. So this is what you're going to put the paper in and obviously if it's a circular tray you need to make sure that the paper is cut to the circle size. So you can kind of use anything here. You can see I've got the microwave full pots or you could do tin foil. Obviously make sure you've washed all the food stuff out from it. What I'm going to use is actually an old shoebox lid. So I feel it's quite a big, it's quite a nice bigger size on this. And I'm going to start with this card so I've cut the card down slightly just so that it fits in so you can use paper you can use card you can use old newspapers kind of anything that's papery or cardboardy cardboardy that's the word then you can do that with it so that's obviously got a design on it and I'll come to doing that in a bit and this is just paper from the printer which it's worked fine so I'm going to start off with the red and tip the marble out it's just an old jelly pot I'm going to make sure, shake the paints so that it's all mixed up nice and well. And then you're just going to squirt a little bit into the pot. So I'll move that paint that way. And then literally going to get your marble and just pop it in the paint pot. Obviously you don't want to be doing this on um, any precious surfaces. So put some newspaper down. You shouldn't, it shouldn't actually get too messy because you're kind of working within the pot within the area so you can do it whilst watching telly or listening to the radio which is quite which is quite nice so i'm just shaking the marble around to coat it in this in this poster paint i'll just remove the cat hair here because my cat's hair seems to get everywhere but that could add to the painting and i'm going to tip the marble out you can either tip it directly onto the card but bear in mind that's going to carry a lot of the paint over i quite like to tip it just to the edge here and then what you can do, you're literally just going to roll the marble around. And it's completely up to you what you want to do, whether you want to try and draw some shapes or just have fun kind of rolling it and seeing what new designs you can create. So obviously you can see where the marble had the most paint and that's where it, the colours are strongest. But even now, despite running it around loads, it is still making marks. It's all about mark making. And you can just stick with one colour if you've just got one paint colour at home, then obviously just use that. Then once it's done, you can either use 
your finger and pull it out i'm just going to tip it back in there so you can kind of leave it like that and then if i just show you with an aperture card kind of roughly what it would look like so you can just stick with one color like that and it'd be a very abstract modern kind of marble painting but you can then start to add more colors so i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go for a purple so this is just this is an acrylic paint you can kind of use any paint really if it's a thicker paint you might want to add a drop of water just to water it down slightly and that's just to help the marble roll around without the paint being too tough and just squeeze a bit of the purple in there knock the camera over sorry right, i'm just going to drop the marble in and then coat it round and i dropped it down this end so i'm actually i'm going to try dropping it down here this time so it's not too paint heavy and then i'm just going to try this one just gently move it around or well, it doesn't have to be gently you can go really hard bear in mind if you go too hard it might fly out and then get the paint elsewhere you can create zigzags you can try and do swells hearts flowers try and do monsters or your favorite characters in tv show or kind of anything anything that you want really or just explore with the color and the textures and the lines so once you think you've had enough of that one, I'm just going to pick it up, pop it back in. And then you could, if you want to add a third colour, you can use as many colours as you want and kind of just keep going. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to add a little bit. I don't think this is going to show up too much because um, obviously it's a cream coloured paint on a cream coloured card. I'll give it a go and see. So it's the bigger marble, so you're going to get bigger lines with that one. You can kind of... There we go. You can see that one's a lot more watery. So I'm going to drop this one on, but before I start moving it, this time, make sure the purple's coated. I'm going to add the purple marble as well. And then once the red one's coated, I'm going to add the red marble. So I've now got three marbles in the tray at the same time. And I'm just going to have fun. Red marble wasn't going to play ball then. And you're just moving them around and do you could try and do a swirl says she who's not managing it very well then and see the more you move it you can start to see how the paints are even mixing up around here so you don't have to have lots of colors i actually quite like using two or three colors and then they start to mix together and then you get different tones and tints and shades it really comes together there so when you think you've done then just pop by this because you've mixed three colors together here you might just want to give your marbles a little bit of a clean so i'm just going to do that and then pop it back in the paint pot it came from i think that one was the red one and then that one's the purple one so i'll pop that in there and then and just take it out and then she haven't painted it directly on it's not too runny it's not too loose it works really nicely on card um just because it adds a little bit of a resist to it and it doesn't soak through so that's your first go at doing it the other way i wanted to look at is using some masking tape and i'm gonna do it on oh, yeah i'll do it on the same color i'm just gonna move the lid that way Okay, so you want to use masking tape if you've got it, rather than sellotape, because sellotape will actually rip the card or the paper when you take it off. And when you put the masking tape down, this is going to act as a sort of resist. And what I mean by that is that wherever the masking tape is, the paint isn't going to go. I didn't think this card colour through very well, did I? Because it's not showing up. So can you see I've just done a strip of masking tape down here? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create several kind of stripes across the page. Masking tape's quite good because you don't need scissors. You can just kind of rip it as you go. And I'm not being too fussy. I'm not measuring it and I'm not trying to get it very precise. I've just put 
four strips of masking tape all around. Then I'm going to pop it back in the tray. And make sure all the marbles are coated. And I think I'm just going to pop them all in in one go. So, that one, and this one. And you can do this with your family, you can do it digitally with others. See there that it's just rolling all over and it is going to coat masking tape and that's fine that's to be expected we're going to peel that off in a minute so just keep rolling it around until you think you've had enough until you like the kind of colors that you're making and it's fun because you'll never get exactly the same creative piece you know it all depends on kind of how you're rolling it or how fast you're rolling it different colors I'm going to pop those back in there. I'm actually going to put a little bit more purple on because I think I want a bit more purple down here. So just drop that down. Just roll that single colour across. And I've put a bit more purple on and I'm thinking I quite want a bit more red. So take that out and just make sure I'm wiping down the marble before I pop it back in. And then chuck the red down. Take care. That's why you want to have newspaper down. So if you do knock your paint pot over, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. I was going to tip that out then, but I knew it was going to go wrong. So, like that, when it just rolls across, that'll teach me for not putting newspaper down. Right, so then when that's done, I'm just going to get a piece of paper to lay it onto. So lay it under here and then what you're going to do is you're gradually going to take off these mask and tape strips oh just put it to one side there and this is a really fun way just to kind of create that resist and then that you've created your very own sort of striped effect. So as well as having the abstract kind of marble rolling across the paper, you've created this fabulous like chevron effect. So then what you could do is you could add lots of doodling in here. You could try some bubble writing and put your name in. If you wanted to do it as a card for somebody, you could write happy birthday or thank you. And you can really personalise it and then make it your own. And the other thing I wanted to say was those masking tape bits, you can still use those as well. So I'm going to try it onto a piece of paper. So they're still going to be sticky on one side, but because you've got all this beautiful kind of coloured paint on that side too, you can then use that to print. So I'm going to push this down onto the piece of paper. If you push too hard, then your finger's going to stick because it is still sticky. So you're just going to lightly run your finger over. And what that's going to do is, A, it'll probably make a really yucky noise because you're running your finger across there, the sticky thing. But you're going to create this sort of like printed effect. See if that can work there. And that's just using the mask and tape. And again, that's... You can see how sticky that is so you can then use that to create another resist later on and i'm just gonna try this one as well so then you really are making use of everything to create lots of different effects so you can then cut that out and put that into an aperture card and another way to do um the resist is that i reused that mask and tape and did a big letter n for my name and I'm just going to try again and coat if there's any red left. I'm just going to coat the marbles up and then I'm going to see. I haven't tried this yet, so it might work, it might not. But if it doesn't work, then it doesn't matter. Cause it's, and then you just keep rolling it round. Probably need a bit more paint on these ones. And I think if you're trying to get something definite, like a letter, out from it, you definitely want to make sure you've got enough paints that a majority of the paper is going to be covered if that makes sense because otherwise resist won't be as noticeable I'll just keep running around 
And when you think you've done enough, take the marbles out, pop them back in the pots, or clean them if you're gonna, if you've still got paint and you need to reuse it. And then you've also started to get a really nice kind of resist on there, so where your paper has been created a new design on there. So I'm just gonna slide this bit over here. This one you probably want to make sure you have got newspaper so you can put the wet pieces of card or paint onto. And then just gonna peel this off and we'll see whether it worked or not. Put that over there. Like that. So it's not as strong as I wanted it to be, but then what you could do is you can add lots of doodles here to fill in the end so it becomes like a bubble end with all of this kind of abstract marble designs around the outside. So then that'll just make it stand out even more. It doesn't have to be light coloured paper, so you can see how I've done it on this one. If I can get it in focus there. You can see I've done it on the brown card there. And then what you could do is, I'll do this in another video, but you can do some paper weaving. So then if you've used different sorts of paper, then you can then start to kind of weave all the colours together and that will really come through beautifully. And I just wanted to show it on, so if you've got, say, magazine paper or kind of old paper and it's got a pattern on, you're a bit worried that that's not going to work. It will, will still work. So I'll just drop all the marbles in and again although I've used three colours you can use as many colours as you want or as few colours as you want you see I've nearly used all the red up there so just going to drop them on and then move them around so even though the paper's already patterned you can still get really fun effects with it and it just well, is knocking the paint over it just adds kind of like another texture, another layer to it. And even though I'm running around loads, you can still see there's still paint coming through there. And you can see when you've finished rolling the marbles all the way around, you've added almost like another dimension by using patterned paper and then with the marbles on top, so that can look really effective too. So there you go. That's a really fun, quick and easy way to make some abstract paintings using marbles, paint and any sort of paper or card that you've got around the home and we also looked at how to do some resists. You could do some more resists going that way and kind of create I don't know, a really beautiful crosshatch sort of design and then what you could do and then what you could do is you can then add them into cards or add them to frames and then stay tuned because I'll do another video for paper weaving as well using these. So I'd love to know what you think, I'd love to see what you make, leave a comment, send me some pictures and yeah, have fun playing and making and creating and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.